Hi, this tutorial is all about how to print in Javanet Bean. So, if I click on print, or well, first of all, let's clear. Okay, clear works. We can always paste it back and click on print. Select maybe our printer and just print it out. There we go. Or you can cl click on print and just save the content convert it to a PDF file that's it click on print on this and the system will prompt you to save there we go guys so I'm gonna save it on the desktop if you like you can change the name click on save there and let's open up the the file that we just saved and right there that's the file that we've just saved from Java net being converted to a PDF file. Okay, so let's close this file, close this desktop, and there. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into Java net being and we put one of these together. So, let's do that now, guys. Hi, and welcome to Java tutorial of how to create a print system. So, I'm going to start by clicking on create new project and make sure you select Java Java application click on next and right there I'm just going to call it print or printer okay then get rid of this and click on finish and right here I have my printer project file so all I need to do is right click on it and let's select new and we select JFrame form right on the JFrame form I'm going to call that print and the package name will be called print with an S click on finish now that the form is ready I'm going to right click on this very form and right here let me select set layer and this set layer I'm going to set it to non layer that's it now let's select the property and change the file size the form size let's change it to 1400 and I'm going to make this 3800 and get it centered there and the next thing is let's come into the palette there and I will select text area paste text area there one other thing is let's get a panel grab a panel we paste the panel right here and just drag the panel down much it's just to we're going to be using the panel as our title so i'm going straight into the properties now and look for the border here on the border i'm going to change the border of that very panel let's give it maybe about eight and click on ok and there so you see this very text layer drag it right there like this and just bring it right down about that much and let's drag this this panel is just for our title so I'm going to just call the title of this let's come right back in here and grab label paste the label in there and the title is just going to be how to in Java NetBean there that's just my title let's increase the font size to something a little bit readable maybe we should make that bold maybe 48 there okay the next thing we want to do is just to add a couple of buttons here right here we need some buttons really okay I'm gonna need about three of those one two 
one. We copy that. Two and three. There we go. Yeah, have my three buttons there. Select them all and let's increase the font size as well. Maybe 48 gold. And let's change the content we have on it. This is going to be exit and the name will be exit as well. Change the name to BT and exit there. This is going to be clear and change the name to btn clear and finally here we're going to call that print and change the name here to btn print there we go that is all there is to it okay so the next thing we want to do now is let's come right in here double click on or right click on the print and there so that will select event action action perform and right here all we need to do is to well first of all let's change the name of this as well we need to change that to something maybe txt reset yeah that's it that's fine now let's go back and perform that same action 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 perform and right here there we go the print let's paste that and say dot print that's all you need to do now we have an error so what we need to do is to enter try cache so click on that and we're going to have to import some other stuff there you see the error is gone that's the lines of code for the print all you need to do is add that and that will be all and right here the system has officially imported the print library and that's it so to clear it all we then need to do is come right here right click action action perform and Let's come to the clear, that's it right here. Enter that dot set text. Let's just clear it there. And to exit the system, we can just use a very simple method. Action, action, perform. So repeat the same thing. Right click and just come here action action perform and right there those are the lines of code for the exit and up here you must make sure you you actually create an object there to be called okay and once you create that object the following library will be created all right and that's all there is to it so let's try it out let's first of all compile it okay all we need to do now is to run the system but before i do that i like to do one more thing make sure this text area is selected and come straight to the property and make sure this wrap style word is selected all right and that will be all actually line wrap think it's to line wrap yeah let's run it now but before we run it I'm gonna go inside word document and just copy one or two things okay run it now and first of all let's go into word document and I'll just enter equals let's go for maybe 10 by 10 there and that should generate some characters for me so I'm just gonna copy that I'll maybe just minimize it for now I'm right in here paste that there we go guys and that is it you can always clear let's paste it again you can exit if you want 
and to print just click on print right there okay select the printer if you have a printer and then click on print see printing in progress there or you can even save it straight into PDF writer you see if you click on print what will happen is it will be converted straight into a PDF format file right there the system is now asking you to give you a document a name so I'm just gonna call it let's call it Java net bean yeah Java net bean printer that's the name that I'm gonna call it right I save that straight onto my desktop so that we can open it easily save and there we go so let's go straight onto the desktop and right here that's the desktop there double click on it double click on the PDF file and let's see what we have on the PDF file itself right there guys that is how you create your own printer using Java NetBeam that's the stuff that we saved in onto the PDF file inside Java NetBeam printer that we just created so with that guys I'm going to call it the end of the tutorial I suppose you all enjoy it. bye for now